What's up guys and welcome to another Guild War. Uh, today we've got Fallens and um, just something to to let you guys know. Um, uh, I actually recently changed a whole bunch of runes. Uh, basically I, I popped a, a, a rune removal uh, pack on the weekend uh, because I won't have a lot of time this weekend to, to do like, my rune removal, right? I don't even wanna, didn't want to rush too much so you know, just just in case, I, I, I did a lot of the work you know, on the previous week, but uh, because of that, I managed to uh, build some, re rebuild some new uh, new units and and team lineups. So uh, one of them, which I can show you on this one actually, this this particular, I guess this particular comp is uh, uh, this one here. This is like a new sort of team that I built it with my second galleon, and it's basically all all on will shield. Um, and all like very similar speed so that they don't they don't get interrupted and um, it's just a uh, it's good against teams like this where there's no buff removal to worry about um, you know anything that they could do it's unprotected by by wall runes the only thing that might go wrong is if the field marks goes crazy and try and kill someone uh, with violent procs but um, Hopefully with shield runes, it will still um, it will, it will negate enough of the damage that I can survive maybe one violent proc. If it, if it does any more than that, then I probably it's going to be very hard. But as long as um, Galleon survives and if one of the other nukes survives, it's it should be okay. And basically the idea is just to cleave the whole team, which is really strong against things like Chasun, um, because you know Chasun when she fall on blossoms it. Um, rebalances the HP right and if they're all on low HP then Fallen Blossoms doesn't really do anything so uh, that's, that's sort of like the goal with this team is if anyone survives which like it would only, probably only happen if one of my nukes die then you know maybe Chasun and the Fill will be still alive because of the endure, the endure. Um, then yeah then at, at, at best she's gonna do a very low or like very little on her fallen blossom. All right, so that's that's that team. Second team. Uh, well, I don't really have like a, any team in particular to show for this one, but uh, let's do uh, let's let's do nice and simple. Um, this sort of team, it's very easy to, to miss any copper, right? Because there's only one buff remover, and for sure that it's going to be slower than my immensity, right? Most battlers, you expect them to be about maybe 200 on violent. That's even at like high level, right? Maybe 220, like no more than 250, I'd say, right? Because you're gonna put him on on on, on violent, and generally he won't have that much speed. Um, so as long as your MSD is relatively fast on swift, you shouldn't have to worry about that. And the other two, once there's no buff removal, like they can't affect my bulldozer who's on will. So bulldozer can take out the, like another unit after that, which will likely be the Zyros, right? So he doesn't. Like, there's no more reset or anything like that. So let's move on now. Uh, I talked a fair bit about that, so let's just uh, hurry up and get into the fight. Okay, so everyone here, I, I this is like a bit of a surprise, right? My units aren't exactly super, like like super slow or anything. They're all roughly about 170 speed, so I was actually surprised that the field mass still is a lot slower. But yeah, that works out pretty well for me. Unfortunately, I did not get the Brian, but as long as I can kill the Chasun, cleave the the field mass down, right, it, we should be okay. Because what will happen is Brian's gonna res Chasun, right? Um, and um, everyone will get rebalanced, their health. And as long as I can survive the Filmars, um, then I can just kill them again with like with, like afterwards. I'll just kill the the Filmars probably. Uh, then there's no more damage. Now the Chasu is pretty low, so I think I can just kill with Super Crush. I mean, normally the idea would just be the Mac Crush, but because Filmars or his jewels already popped, and Brian doesn't have. Um, defense break anyway, then Mark Crush won't really do anything. So I was gonna do Super Crush, which should kill the chest soon and hopefully stun the other two. That's plenty. Okay, he didn't violent, which is fortunate. And I, I, I was protected by my, uh, like, 
the shield runes, right? And also the Sword of Supreme Skywolf shield. So let's try the defense break just soon. Didn't work. But oh, big again. That's alright. She's basically dead. Everyone's probably basically dead with Sword of the Supreme Skywolf. It's pretty good. 36,000. Not, not bad. Alright, so now we buff up Immensity and take out the Bella. Sorry, we buff up uh, Copper. I should say. Alright, he stunned me, that's fine. And yeah, we'll take out the Zyra, so because he's still got his skills, right? But he can do dots, and he can reset, which I don't really want him to do. So we'll just do that. Like, Zy I mean, sorry, uh, Veromars is much less scary than than the Zyros going cam. But he's he should be dead, pretty much. There's not much he can do. It's not like a few Mars that can... You know, proc a couple of hits and kill someone, so pretty safe from there. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, how about this one? Okay, we can probably do the same thing. We'll just try it again, right? Just test this combo out a bit more. But the the first team, uh, we'll just do Beth. So we'll do these two and Beth. I actually re run Beth a little bit. I put less HP on her and gave her an attack rune. So she's on H attack, crit damage, HP now. So I'm hoping that with the extra attack. Oh, actually, there's will runes though. Oh, he's faster, that's fine. Uh, with the extra attack uh, power, I'm hoping that. Her eternal scar can actually one shot the Perana. Okay, at least it did on this one. And it revives with really low HP, right? It's a lot better than before, where uh, the eternal scar will destroy a lot of HP, but it won't actually kill the Perana. And I, I didn't like that because, like, I had to wait, basically wait another turn to actually pop the the resurrect and. It just becomes a bit more annoying to kill, whereas like now I can basically almost kill it. Oh, okay. If I don't get stunned, I can pretty much just kill it, right? Um, let's do holy water. So yeah, I don't have to wait like to kill it twice now. Oh, jeez, the violent prox though. Oh, this is. Oh my god, so many, so many violent procs on this Perna. Alright, now he's gone. Now I might be a little bit worried about Beth because uh, if the Bernard goes for her, uh, especially because she, got, she has, she has a free turn heal block, it's gonna be, I can't really keep her up. I mean, we'll, we'll win eventually over with attrition, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I, I would rather not lose her if possible. So what I really need is for her to do a vi like a violent proc right now. Violent proc, please. Nope. Uh, she's. I think she's pretty much dead. I can't. I can't really stop the Bernard. Oh. Oh no. Okay, she's dead. That's unfortunate. But we should be okay. We just take out the. Uh, Orion first, so then there'll be no more heal block, and then that be, should be okay. Oh my god, so many additional turns. So that's basically why I would like Beth to be a lot tankier, uh, just to survive things like that, because her, her base, or like her base defense is not exactly that great. And if you have to put a lot of, you know, st you have to put a lot of stats into things like crit damage, crit. Uh, crit rate and also attack as well, right? She's quite stat hungry, sort of like a Camilla, without the survival, like the survival, uh, survivability of the passive. So, um, so I find her really hard to ruin, even like, when there's things like a Bernard hitting you. I, as, if they have defense break on her, then it, it still hurts her quite a bit. But it's okay for this war, because I mean she's she's kind of a sacrificial uh, anyway. But yeah, it, it would be nice to have her as an option, like 
in case I do need her against someone that has uh, a Perna team, like similar to this, where it's Perna's the single threat. Oh, we, we have a problem. The, uh, the Field Mars is too slow and he's got Will. Okay, that's not bad. We should be able to kill those two at least. And maybe the A, like the Cleave, should be able to pop the Endure, I think. Yeah. So, like, this team is probably better against, like, oh shit. Maybe I should make my Galleon tank here, though. Um. <clears throat> This sort of team is good against um, like the the version where there's Orion instead of the Brian, because the Orion will help ensure that the fuel mines will move first. Uh, but there also is the risk that the Orion will remove the wall rune. But uh, it's it's like another way for me to hit that defense, right? Normally I would bring like a, like a safe fuel mines, uh, wall shield unit, and either Chasun or, or Iona. Um, uh, but yeah, I, was, I thought maybe another way to tackle it is something like that. Well, the one I used just then. Alright, let's uh, have a look. Okay, I think we can do this. One other unit I ruined up, which we, I guess we can try. Uh, it's a new unit that I recently 6 starred. So let's give him a go. It's uh, Rakan. Okay, uh, what would I, need? I need a buff remover and a defense breaker so but there's not a lot of threat there so let's just bring okay let's just bring a uh, Praha right uh, that would I'm basically just saving it for um, removing the villagers immunity right that's all I really care about and something with so like a defense breaker uh, someone who's reliable Okay, let me just check his speed. Okay, I was bringing like a slow unit. Uh, how about where is he? All right, here. Let's use Jabel. Let's just just check his speed. I think it should be faster. Uh, yeah, he's faster because he's base speed. So, um, yeah, I haven't used him in a in a while. So let's give him a go. And this second team, uh. I can't really use this like my Galleon team against this because of the Chloe. Um, so let, let's bring something else. Uh, okay, well let's. I think we will bring Fuel Mars against Fuel Mars, but we'll use. Uh, okay, we'll use Bella as a buff remover, and I, I want Will Shield. So let's bring my own Chloe who's got wall shield. And yeah, let's let's do that. I don't have a lot of sustain, so I really have to kill that that fuel mass as soon as possible. Okay, he, he's slower than my Praha, although which is a bit annoying. So let's try to stun the Velajul. Nope. Oh wow, she stunned my Jubel. So I have to Actually, I'm not even going to bother buffing yet. I'm, I want to wait. I want to remove the immunity and then try to defense break something. Let's let's take out the Velajul because he's got the uh, the immunity buff. Oh my god, I got resisted. Uh, this is this test is not going well. What I really want to do is test out Rakan's damage and. Way things are going, they're not letting me. <laughs> so, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. We can also defense break just soon, just in case. Oh, no, never mind. The resistance. Okay, so I haven't actually used Rakan before, so I want to see how much damage he does. I'm actually on a attack crit rate uh, HP build, right? But I have crit, I have 130 percent crit damage uh, based on like with my substats so it's sort of similar to like a normal like attack crit damage attack build um, or oh, sorry uh, attack crit damage HP I should say alright so let's let's do times one and see how much collapse does on the Velajul 22,000 that's kinda underwhelming to be honest <laughs> but yeah it's it's not awful 
I mostly just wanted him as like a, a fire lead that I could use with Kuma occasionally and just do some like a bit of damage but he's sort of hard to bring because you have to set him up with preferably a buff remover and a defense breaker so I, I guess I could also use something like Bella with with the Rakan and yeah the first damage is like piss poor and then the other problem with Rakan is you, you need him to have um, skill ups for um, the cooldown reduction which I haven't bothered to do because I don't really plan on using him that much but yeah I guess it's good to have him as an option as like a fire bruiser type but yeah I'll try to use him a little bit uh, in, in future videos because but the other plan was to base maybe to use him with um, uh, a fire panda if I build him eventually because he can defense break and he's also sharing the fire element uh, for the attack the for the leader oh my god he he stunned my my Bella though that's a bit awkward um okay let's buff this Okay, and yeah, I was, I was thinking of using him with the Fire Panda and maybe Kuma. And yeah, I'll get around to it. Uh, I'll get around to trying it some some stage. It's just that you have to find I have to find a very specific team to bring it against. That's why I have sort of held off on building Rokan for a long time. So yeah, there'll be some, hopefully some more units to try out in future videos, but that's it for what I've got at the moment. Uh, let's just do the world boss real quick. I think I'll, yeah, I think I'll, oh, it's, it's not going to die today anyway. So let's, let's give, let's give world boss a shot. So it won't take very long to do it. <clears throat> By the way, there's, um, for people who, like, didn't know there are there are um, there's a new developer note for the new patch. It looks very exciting. I think it'll be sh it'll shake up the game a fair bit. Like it's got there's a lot of um, like the new runes. I think they're gonna they'll be very very nice to uh, try out for different builds. It, it gives a, it get the game a lot like a, a another dimension. Like you know the way you rune your units. It's not um, like you. Yeah, you have a choice whether to make your individual unit a lot better or build it to make it like make to support your the rest of your team to make everyone else stronger. Um, I think that it would also make raids a lot easier uh, because some of those runes it just sort of helps reduce the rune requirements on the, your other units. So, for example, like you, if you run like a Darren or your Fire Panda, both which are farmable, you could use. Um, you could use them, right, and to hold the the the, the new aura runes, and they, they basically give the rest of the units uh, like extra HP or defense or whatever. So if you're struggling to keep your units alive, then you could potentially just you know give everyone more defense, more HP, or if you if you don't need the survivability, then you can switch it to. Uh, attack instead and do more damage. So I think it makes it things are very flexible. Yeah, and like, and just generally, you know, keeps things a lot more interesting. Because I feel it's been a bit stale. Like everything is sort of the same. Uh, but now there's, there'll be a lot more to to do and to aim for. And the homunculus looks really interesting. I'm I'm, I'm interested to see what the skills are. And when the patch is released, I'll probably do like a video dedicated to uh, like all the changes that they've th they've done and and just like how to do certain things or whatever. But we'll see when that actually uh, you know, gets released, which I think it will probably be within the next two to three weeks. Um, I think it's a good sign that they released it this early. I, f I thought that they would that like this developer note would would be like a little bit later but it actually came you know earlier than I expected so that's pretty nice anyway that's it for me for, for now so 
Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's Guild Wars video. Have a good one. Bye bye. What's up, guys, and welcome to another Guild War. Uh, today we've got Fallen's, and um, just something to to let you guys know. Um, uh, I actually recently changed a whole bunch of runes. Uh, basically, I, I popped a, a, a rune removal uh, pack on the weekend uh, because I won't have a lot of time this weekend to to do my, my rune removal. Right? I don't want to, didn't want to rush too much, so. You know, just just in case, I, I, I did a lot of the work you know, on the previous week, but uh, because of that, I managed to uh, build some re rebuild some new uh, new units and and team lineups. So uh, one of them, which I can show you on this one actually, this this particular I guess this particular comp is uh, uh, this one here. This is like a new sort of team that I built it with my second galleon, and it's basically all all on will shield. Um, and all like very similar speed, so that they don't they don't get interrupted. And um, it's just a uh, it's good against teams like this where there's no buff removal to worry about. Um, you know, anything that they could do, it's unprotected by by wall runes. The only thing that might go wrong is if the field mods goes crazy and try and kill someone uh, with violent procs. But um, this, um, then I can just kill them again with like with, like afterwards. I'll just kill the the field mars probably. Uh, then there's no more damage. Now the chassis is pretty low, so I think I can just kill with super crush. I mean, normally the idea would just be the mac crush, but because field mars already his jewels already popped and Brian doesn't have um, defense break anyway, then mac crush won't really do anything. So I was gonna do super crush. We should kill the chassis and hopefully stun the other two. That's plenty. Okay, he didn't violent, which is fortunate. And I, I, I was protected by my, uh, like, the shield runes, right? And also the Sword of Supreme Skywolf shield. So let's try the defense break just soon. Didn't work. But, oh, big again. That's alright. She's basically dead. Everyone's probably basically dead with Sword of the Supreme Skywolf. It's pretty good. 36,000. Not, not bad. Alright, so now we buff up Immensity and take out the Bella. Sorry, we buff up uh, Copper, I should say. Alright, he stunned me, that's fine. And yeah, we'll take out the Zyra, so because he's still got his skills, right? But he can do dots and he can reset, which I don't really want him to do. So we'll just do that. Like, Z I mean, sorry, uh, Veromars is much less scary than, than, than a Zyros going ham. But he's, he should be dead, pretty much. There's not much he can do. It's not like a field mars that can you know, proc a couple of hits and kill someone, so pretty safe from there. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, how about this one? Okay. We can probably do the same thing. We'll just try it again, right? Just test this comp out a bit more. But the, the first team, uh, we'll just do Beth. So we'll do these two and Beth. I actually re rune Beth a little bit. I put less HP on her and gave her an attack rune. So she's on H attack, crit damage, HP now. So I'm hoping that with the extra attack. Oh, actually, there's will runes though. Oh, he's faster, that's fine. Uh, with the extra attack uh, power, I'm hoping that her eternal scar can actually one-shot the Perna. Okay, at least it did on this one. It revives with really low HP, right? It's a lot better than before where uh, the eternal scar will destroy a lot of HP, but it won't actually uh, maybe 200 on Violet. That's even at like high level, right? Maybe 220, like no more than 250, I'd say, right? Because you gotta put him on on on, on violent, and generally he won't have that much speed. Um, so as long as your immensity is relatively fast on swift, you shouldn't have to worry about that. And the other two, once there's no buff removal, like they can't affect my bulldozer who's on will. 
So Bulldozer can take out the, like another unit after that, which will likely be the Zyros. Right, so he doesn't. Like, there's no more reset or anything like that. So let's move on now. Uh, I talked a fair bit about that, so let's just uh, hurry up and get into the fight. Okay, so everyone here. I, I this is like a bit of a surprise, right? My units aren't exactly sup like like super slow or anything. They're all roughly about 170 speed. So I was actually surprised that the field mass still is a lot slower. But yeah, that works out pretty well for me. Unfortunately, I did not get the Brian, but as long as I can kill the Chasun, cleave the the field mass down, right? It, we should be okay, because what will happen is Brian's going to res Chasun, right? Um, and um, everyone will get rebalanced, their health. And as long as I can survive the Filmar, hopefully with shield runes, it will still um, it will, it will negate enough of the damage that I can survive maybe one Violent proc. If it, if it does any more than that, then I probably it's going to be very really hard. But as long as um, Galleon survives, and if one of the other nukes survives, it's it should be okay. And basically, the idea is just to cleave the whole team, which is really strong against things like Chasun, um, because you know Chasun when she fall and blossoms, it um, rebalances the HP, right? And if they're all on low HP, then fallen blossoms doesn't really do anything. So uh, that's, that's sort of like the goal with this team is if anyone survives, which like. It, would only, probably only happen if one of my nukes die, then you know maybe Chasun and the Phil will be still alive because of the endure, the endure. Um, then yeah, then at, at, at best she's gonna do a very low or like very little on her fallen blossom. All right, so that's that's that team. Second team. Uh, well, I don't really have like a, any team in particular to show for this one, but. Uh, Let's do uh, let's, let's do nice and simple. Um, this sort of team, it's very easy to, to get Mercity Copper, right? Because there's only one buff remover, and for sure that it's going to be slower than my Mercity, right? Most battlers, you expect them to be about.